Hello and welcome back to the humble little workshop deep in the depths of Shropshire. Um, today's little project is uh, one of our new products and you can tell because I've already opened the packet that I've been having a play but it is a new bottle stopper. This is a stainless steel bottle stopper. There we go, there it is. Um, unfortunately I've got it absolutely covered in dust on the silicon parts but it's quite a nice little thing solid stainless steel and unlike our other bottle stoppers this one has actually got the thread fixed this is stainless steel as well so um, these are really suitable for things that might be um, kept a little bit longer in a kitchen oil vinegar that kind of stuff because it's solid stainless steel um, beware of others that say they're stainless steel but they're not if when they're very very shiny quite often they're chrome and people say they're stainless steel because they don't know what they're selling um, generally they're not they're zinc alloy coated in um, copper and then chromed on top of that um, our stainless steel one as you will see here has got a satin brushed or satin finish because we think that's the most suitable kitchen finish for stainless steel stainless steel does polish up nicely but equally when it's highly polished it can scratch quite easily so that's why we've gone with this one now if you've looked at bottle stoppers before you'll know there's generally um, probably three systems there's people that sell bottle stoppers that just put a, have a bit of thread in with no thought about how you might connect it there's another system on the market which uses um, an arbor like this one and down in the corner you will see um, because I can't bear to part with money um, with one of my competitors to actually buy theirs you'll see me make my own I've bought an arbor blank and I actually made the thread to fit or there is our system which is basically um, a strip of metal with an M8 thread at the end. Dead simple and frankly it doesn't need to be any more complicated than, than, than that. Um, I guess they have their advantages and disadvantages but you will see when I turn on this one or what happens or can happen if you don't support it at the end. It isn't dangerous, it's just a bit annoying um, because what happens it tends to just pop out unless there's something holding it in the end um, our system with this simple little thing held in a chuck um, is actually screwed on so even if you pull it you won't get it out um, so I'm going to show you the two different um, ways that, of, of doing things um, and you'll also obviously if you follow the little video in the corner see how I've made this um, and you'll see me play with some white stuff at the end and what that is it's so uh, clear I've um, almost lost it it's a bit of HDPE rod that I've got um, and I've just put that on the end of there because I'm not going to use that for turning um, bottle stoppers but what I am going to use it for is for pressing pens so now it's got that little bit of plastic at the end I can press my pens together um, when I have to make those um, and it'll be protected not on the, on the metal so that's what I'm going to do today I'm going to be quiet I'm going to point the video back at um, the lathe and you will see me just basically um i've got a scrap of you not a very good bit that i'm going to show you on 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 this um and then i've, I've had a bit of beef so awful I, I changed it and i put a decent bit of beach on on this bit but they're both mounted in exactly the same way just on different things so let's have a look at what i did
the, I wouldn't bring this into the workshop because I've got it covered in fluff. But anyway, for the purposes of this, let's see, where's my spanner? There we go, one stainless steel bottle stopper on screwing mandrel so it hasn't fallen off and that one's finished in beach. There we go, might be a bit big for the size stopper that time, but it's uh, it's quite a nice thing, nice and easy to get hold of. So there's my finished top with my thread in the bottom there and I'm going to stress these threads here are as tough as old boots these are carbon steel so if you get them in wonky or get them in wrong or even sand it a bit you can take it out and reuse it um, but it slots on the top of the bottle stopper there I think to be to be fair this top is a little bit big for the stopper um, but this is the first one I've actually turned for for this one here so you can see how that works and that is quite a nice little project quite a nice little product uh, and the, the um, stainless steel really is quite nice um, as far as anything bar and kitchen wise goes stainless steel is the ultimate uh, but um, compared to other metals it's probably about the most expensive hence the difference in price between this and our other bottle stoppers i hope that's been useful i will go and take a still of that so you can see it um, until next time enjoy whatever it is you do in your workshop and don't forget of course to do it safely take care bye bye for now